Hello, in this video I will show you how to get started with coding in TypeScript. Now TypeScript is a kind of um, language, programming language, that uh, that gets uh, translated into JavaScript, something like that. There's certainly a lot of documentation out there about TypeScript. But I'm going to show you how you can uh, spin up a uh, an IDE uh, workflow to work with TypeScript and one thing I recommend is using Visual Studio for TypeScript. You of course can use VS Code and VS Code is very effective but Visual Studio can help you uh, use some of these uh, other languages uh, like TypeScript and C++ and C Sharp. Um, so in order to get Visual Studio and what Visual Studio looks like is it's got this uh, purple you're eventually going to get this window. Visual Studio looks like VS Code. It's got this purple kind of ribbon here. And the latest version is called Visual Studio 2022. But to get there, go to this website and click this. Install Visual Studio Code. And there's all kinds of buttons here to click on. To I misspoke. <laughs> Visual Studio. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of buttons you can click on. You can click on here. Um, but there's different ways they walk you through installing uh, Visual Studio. So I recommend installing that. And once you get a little bit through the Visual Studio installation process, you'll get this page. And in here, you'll click this button here, Modify. And this is a very uh, big application. It might take some time. Um, but from here, if you want to get into TypeScript I recommend checking this box and downloading installing this this ASP.NET web development this will help you uh, this will help you with your uh, intelligent uh, IDE so you get the dice uh, recommendation pop-ups to make your TypeScript job a little bit easier um, there's other packages here with Python and C++ uh, but with regards to Visual Studio and TypeScript, I recommend this package. So you got to install that. Uh, make sure you get your NPM packages installed also. Um, that's your Node Package Manager. I recommend all that stuff. Um, but in order to get started with making a TypeScript project, uh, I recommend what you do is you open up your uh, Visual Studio after you get it uh, installed. Click here, you know, you can launch Visual Studio here. I think there's a run command of, uh, yeah, dev, dev env. And that will bring up your Microsoft Visual Studio. And from here, uh, there's all different ways to start a project. Um, you can continue raw bones without code. You can create a new project, open a project here. This is a IDE. This is very much like uh, IntelliJ. It's it's got all different options for opening up uh, a project. So if we go to uh, create a new project, in here I recommend. Uh, well, for this video, I'm going to show you a couple different uh, ways of creating a TypeScript project. So let's first go with uh, this one, TypeScript console application. It seems to be the most like basic uh, project scheme they got. So you click next. In here, uh, you have to enter a project name. So let's do YouTube TypeScript. And then you're going to click create and it's going to go through and put uh, it's going to do uh, your NPM uh, init it's going to create all your stuff for you and uh, so when you have Visual Studio the bare bones setup is they're going to have give you like this black screen like the normal Visual Studio is this big black screen and uh, 
I prefer different colors. You can go to uh, options here, tool, options. And here I think you go to, uh, I clicked the wrong button. I think it's tools, theme, yeah. Tools, theme, you'll have different choices of different themes. I went with this Cobalt 2 theme. And the way you can get more themes is you go click on the get more themes. And they'll have all different themes here. You could download Cobalt 2, download Dracula. I also recommend downloading this VS Fora. That gives you colorful brackets. It gives you more dynamic gra brackets that are grouped together so you can see stuff a little bit clearer and better. I also recommend, since I'm big on the command line, to get your um, terminals set up here that you want set up. You click settings, you go here, and you have to find your shell locations. Uh, one trick to find your shell locations is you can go into like a terminal. And let's say you, you can type in like which, which is a bash command. You like which, and then let's say you want to find um, bash. It'll tell you where um, it is. So this is saying that it's in your root, your system32 slash user slash bin slash bash. Type in which. Let's say your Ubuntu uh, terminal. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, set up your terminals here. Get that going. I have a couple different formatting issues with this uh, terminal. For some reason, it the letters aren't as they don't look as pretty as I wanted them to be. But I'm just complaining. Okay, so from here, uh, yeah, Visual Studio put together for me this empty TypeScript project. Let's look at the package.json. Uh, also the font, by the way. Let's look at the font here. Now this font is actually the exact same as VS Code. And I set it up that way. I think by default, Visual Studio will give you a different font, which I wasn't crazy about. And to be specific, the font I have here is... Monaco that's what it's called and you might have to download that there's a bunch of different websites where you can download Monaco so you can download that font so yeah I have the Monaco font going here so yeah I'm looking at the package.json and um, now right now compiling uh, TypeScript code is not as simple as just doing like node um, this is tricky by the way Visual Studio Code now check this out I'm gonna type dirt here and you see how I'm in this YouTube TypeScript directory well they'll set up a new another directory a subdirectory because right now this directory here is like a workspace basically and so you're gonna have to CD into uh, YouTube TypeScript and Visual Studio will no they didn't do it this time but sometimes they'll give you this extra app.ts um, so yeah I have console I have this hello world up here and let's see what happens if uh, I do node app.ts now Node is like kind of like your basic way of um, running a, a JavaScript uh, file. And I'm going to show you what happens when I run that. And it prints out Hello World. Although you at home, if you're starting off TypeScript, it's possible you will not be able to compile TypeScript uh, by just typing node app.ts. Because let's say I bring in uh, a real a full TypeScript um, program. So I have one here. I'm just going to copy and paste all this in. This is the code I made. 
So let's uh, paste that in. So this is all TypeScript. It's got the interfaces and the types here. Control S. Control tilde can toggle your terminal. Let's run this. Okay, so this is gonna sh this throws me an error here because you can't just you can't really just do node app.ts even though it seems like TypeScript is like JavaScript. Um, there's some extra steps you have to go through in order to compile uh, TypeScript. So I have this other command to compile TypeScript. Oopsies. And it's called TS node app.ts. So let's try that command. Let's try to compile this. Okay, so it compiled. This is what the code uh, spits out. What this code spits out is it uh, it goes through these interfaces and um, it uses the interfaces to make these objects here, these array objects. And then it goes through here and it Yeah, I'm falling asleep here, but <laughs> okay. Yeah, the first console dot log is it is it uh it prints out this object as an array, and then what it does is it um and then it goes goes ahead and and singles out takes out these extracts these date objects and then what it does is it converts it to a, a string a nice looking date string and then I have it remove the the 2022 date so yeah this is just a TypeScript program here and the way I ran it was I ran TS node app.ts however you're gonna have to set that up it's not usually ready to go out of the box in order to do that um, first you have to make sure you have TypeScript global npm install TypeScript global and I recommend doing this in your root directory so make sure you're at your root this is gonna get tricky here then you'll run npm install ts oops npm install ts node and when you do npm install ts node, I'm pretty sure it throws that into your root app data node. Then you make sure you go to the root of of your project. And that might be tricky with Visual Studio, but make sure you're in your root and you do npm link TypeScript. And then after you do npm link TypeScript, then you can run ts node app.ts ts node app.ts will run your TypeScript um, script code and that should be I think that's the most efficient way of um, compiling TypeScript uh, again I might uh, link a couple uh, articles to help you out with this but yeah make sure you have npm installed globally you could also do it package by package, but um, npm install ts node, and you get the rest of it. Okay, so let's open up a TypeScript project that's not really in some kind of like uh, one of these uh, big packages. Let's see. Um, Let's try a blank solution. We'll call it solution one. Okay, so they gave us a workspace where we can uh, come up with uh, 
start from scratch with something. I think I'll try, I'll highlight this and right click. Let's just add a new item. And we're going to create a TypeScript file, so we'll call it uh, app.ts. We'll add that. It's taking too long to think. Having me, it's got me a little bit nervous here. Let's uh, smuggle in some of the uh, code we already had. Okay, and we'll save this. Cool. So let's try to run this code. Let's try to compile it. What happens if we do node app.ts? Nope, doesn't want to compile it, so we'll try our other command. Slash node app.ts. Cool, so that works. It will compile it. So even though we didn't directly import in a, a package.json and all this npm stuff into this really blank project here, this project right now is like 50 like kilobytes. It's really small. But as long as what we do, going back to this, as long as we install this npm install ts node, um, Forget about that, but as long as we get npm install ts node and we have some sort of TypeScript, okay. Okay, so when you type in tsc v, you should get a version here. If you don't, that means you're going to have to um, npm install TypeScript. So, yeah, make sure you got your TypeScript. And you got your uh, TS node command, and you'll be able to compile TypeScript. It should make things uh, a little bit easier for you. I find it a little bit better than um, than because Visual Studio has this run button up here, so you can run um, so you can run TypeScript stuff. It's not going to work here because I'm not in the right environment, but. Um, Generally, I think using your uh, command line and really exploiting the the stuff you already, the folders connected to the root of your system, exploiting all that, your file structure, I think is really good. Um, but yeah, um, if you liked the video, uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and happy coding.